<laughs> I just stacked this dude. Mic check. And this is a banana. And some of you may know I have this weird habit of eating a banana pretty much every day, at least six days of the week, five, six days of the week. Something I discovered years ago while needing a portable snack on the way to work. So I decided to uh, eat bananas. We're listening to an old one, D. Ribes, Cash Out. I discovered this song like probably over 12 years ago. It is great. It is not mine. YouTube will have to do whatever they do. Maybe this whole video will be muted because of that. But here we are on uh, the Morning Banana Show. I am not live streaming on the Twitter or on Periscope because I'm taking time off Twitter. I guess on a technicality we could say that, well, Periscope isn't Twitter, and I could live stream on Periscope, but we both know it's owned by Twitter. So, let's see. I think we're at Morning Banana 64, but let's double check. The date is the 19th of December, and we're finishing up 2019. Of course, lots of interesting things have been going on in the news. It's morning banana number 65. That's 65 bananas. I was entertaining the idea of live streaming from my other device, but... I don't think it's a good idea. There's no point. I'll upload this video when it's recorded to YouTube and then that will be that. It doesn't always need to be live streamed. Mm. So how are you doing? It has been a while. Mm. So yeah, what can we talk about? Uh, I have a couple guests lined up for the Morning Banana Show. Mm, it's the holiday season, so everybody's going on holidays, but it will happen. One thing I can tell you is the rust check season is kind of winding down. It's like a roller coaster ride. August, September, October, it's going up. November, it's kind of peaking in December it starts to come down a little bit because of the holidays and then back up in January and then February and then the ride's over. Start again next year. Mm -hmm. Twenty two five six seven to eight nine twenty nine. Twenty nine. Right. Yeah, we're pretty much near the end of the season. I was just looking at the numbers real quick of how many we've done. I have a rough idea of like how many are supposed to be sprayed per year. And we're getting towards the end for sure. What else can we talk about? How about American politics?
it's so funny, the uh, American political situation. I actually think that President Donald Trump had a good point about saying that Nancy Pelosi is weakening the word impeachment. So for the Speaker of the House to throw this word around impeachment, for a vote to happen and the President to be voted for impeachment and then for him to not step down as Bill Clinton did or Richard Nixon did and for him to fight it, wait for it to go to a trial in the Senate, which will, will, will be overturned because it won't have a, uh, or acquitted because it doesn't, they don't have a two thirds majority uh, on the Democrat side. You could say that the Senate would be Republican controlled. Uh, for the whole thing in the end to be a uh, charade and just thrown out or acquitted or President Trump to uh, to move on and use it as a campaign talking point. It's kind of political theater is how I feel. Like it seems almost get to the point where it's like, is this a... Is this another reality TV show to get people interested in politics and not focused on the Antarctic Treaty and what's beyond the Antar Antarctic ice walls? And that's what I'm thinking. Keep you interested on in what's going on inside the penitentiary. I know that politics is real at every level for all the people who are involved in it but as a Canadian looking at this American political situation somebody who doesn't know any better would might might think like well the president was impeached last night and they throw around this word impeached impeached um, be that as it may if all the Democrats were trying to do was tarnish his reputation in a way that would affect President Trump because he has these uh, idiosyncrasies of being notoriously obsessed with his self-image in his large hands. Uh, it seems like that is the cheapest of cheap shots uh, because in, in reality the Democrats who are smart enough to vote to impeach him should also be smart enough to know that uh, the Senate, it, once it goes to trial, once it goes to Senate vote, it will be acquitted and in the end it will be nothing but a footnote of history that the House Democrats decided to impeach a sitting president and nothing came of it other than a footnote of history. So forgive me if I'm confused or seem a little bit ignorant, but the whole thing just seems like a spectacle to keep you involved in American politics. And I've been trying not to follow it, but it's playing out like a bad script that I've already read. What else can we talk about? It's like winter here. I There was a day or two ago, I shoveled snow four times in one day. I shoveled three times here at the shop and once at home. I have a snow blower around the corner that I uh, I can take home and use at home, but I didn't. Cause you gotta load it up in the truck and then drive over and then return it, so it's not as easy as it seems. What else is going on? Uh, I bought Desiree a website, so if you're on the internet, you can go to Pure Love reiki.ca purelovereiki.ca that will be the second website that I bought her she also owns uh, or I also run she runs it pure no it's called we all deserve pure love .com. so she's got a dot com and a dot ca now and uh, I don't know if any of you watching this have dealt with the CIRA 
the CIRA is the Canadian Internet Registration Authority. And wow, are they fun to deal with. I was emailing them back and forth for, I don't want to exaggerate, two full weeks, including weekends. I don't know how they get emails on the weekends, but they were responding to emails on the weekends. They have uh, a bunch of different things that they do. In short, if you try to register a .ca, you're going to wind up dealing with these people or the guy who runs your IT department, which in my case, uh, I control the domains uh, and domain names and am directly involved in registering them and whatnot. So that was fun. In the end, her website is live on the .ca and our private information was redacted which was nice if you look it up on who is we're paying though um, I'm taking some time off which is nice I'll be taking some time off for the end of the month here and uh, you know I feel like it's uh, it's a good idea long overdue so from you know I haven't taken a vacation all year really not a good one I went like to Pie Bird Cottage but I haven't taken a proper vacation and this isn't even really a proper vacation it's just time off work I've been working I don't know, four or five months straight, six days a week. It kind of takes its toll eventually. So, what else can I tell you? We interviewed my sister on one of these morning banana shows. And um, exciting, exciting news. She is working at the corporate head office of Copper Branch, a vegan franchise right now. And to me, that's really exciting because that is beginning the steps towards our vegan restaurant future. And I have an idea, Desiree has an idea, we all have our ideas of how it's gonna happen, but it has to be right because uh, there's no secret, it's no secret that I want to get into vegan restaurants. And at first I was uh, thinking about doing a standalone, mom and pop shop standalone, and then we walked into a copper branch and everything kind of went out the window. I said to Desiree, I said to Desiree, uh, have you, like, have you ever seen anything like this? She said, no. And then, um, I said, would you change anything on the menu? And she said, no. And I said, they're cooking the stuff that we would serve. Like, we have recipe books that we were kind of com throwing together over the years. And, uh, they're, they're serving the things that we would serve. Like, they looked through our recipe books and decided to make a restaurant franchise out of it. So instead of getting into my own standalone and being one off in the corner of Niagara, we could get into a franchise and have like multiple locations. And that's, for those watching this, that's the new rough plan. I'm at the point in my life where you know, I'm a few years into owning a relatively expensive home and I could leverage my home, which is what my backup plan was, if all else fails, and get a business loan to do this. Or we could just create a wicked business proposal and get into it. Or option C would be to um, privately have an investor. When you deal with private investors, then you have to kind of accept the fact that the interest rates are going to be higher and they may be not exactly the same so that's something that we're dealing with but um, 
it's a long process and I'm not saying it's going to happen overnight, but uh, so far up until this point, this is something that I think I would like to do. So if you know any investors, hit me up. Um, people who are willing to invest in the future of vegan restaurants. All right, everybody. I am going to go go to the bathroom and then get ready for work. I got only two customers on the on the docket today. I hired a guy. He's a pretty cool guy. I'll tell you more about him some other time. I don't mind him. So he'll be in tomorrow. Actually, I'm going to message him and tell him to come in on Saturday and do it. Thank you. I'm not on Twitter right now. I'll be waiting until the new year, but uh, you can follow me there at adamjosh.com. I don't plan on uh, deleting my account. Somebody pointed out to me the other day, how can you be off Twitter? You have like 20, 20 something thousand followers. And I said, yeah, I don't know. I don't really count the followers. And the other person was like, oh, I would use it as a marketing tool. And I said, yeah, you know, you would do whatever you would do. And uh, I do whatever I do. I don't look at the follower count on my Twitter account as a way to market. I mean, sometimes I get in my head, I'm gonna, I'm gonna market this one thing, but it's never for like, it's veganism. It's, it's not personal profit stuff. I joke around and try to sell stickers. I'll be honest with you, I've sold like four stickers. <laughs> Flat earth stickers. I market ideas, okay? I'm in the ideas marketing, which doesn't really always equate to uh, financial success. Follow me on Twitter at adamjosh.com. Visit the website adamjosh.com. Thank you so much for watching. Morning Banana. This was Morning Banana number 64. Did I say that? Yeah. 64? No. This was Morning Banana number 65. Okay, we know where we, we, know where we are. We're at number 65. All right, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.